Hi, and welcome to Averse Cloud Solutions Tips and Tricks for Zero Ninjas. Your Zero Ninja Master for today is Kirsten Blake. Hi guys, uh, welcome to another Averse Cloud Solutions Tips and Tricks for Zero Ninja session. Today's topic is repeating invoices that will rock your socks off. It Zero has really made it easy for uh, service type industries where they work off a subscription based service and the invoices sent out in monthly packages or the likes to the clients on a repeating basis. I'm going to assume here that you're familiar with Zero enough that you know how to set up an invoice and jump straight into how to set up repeating invoices. To add a new repeating invoice, really quite simple. Um, from the invoice drop down, we can just go and create a new repeating invoice. All the standard invoicing features are here. Who do we want to invoice to, uh, the reference that we want to set, and all the invoice parameters. Now, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this if you've already got something set up in your system that you want to now make into a repeating invoice. So I know that I've previously set up for Avis Cloud Solutions a monthly invoice and each month I've been doing this manually. Now I'm jack of that, I would actually set it up as a repeating invoice. So you can see here I've gone into last month's invoice for a web posting package. Go into the invoice options and just click on the repeat button here. So you can see now it's taking me into the new repeating invoice screen. It's brought in all of the detail from last month's invoice. Now all I need to do is set this up so that it makes sense on a repeating basis. So the cool thing here, instead of having a monthly, I can put in here a placeholder that will show month and year, week and year, whatever it is. So I want month and year here and I'll just put um, as our guide, we're posting for, right? Same thing here in the description which the client will see. Monthly we're posting a support package currently says for April. I'm just going to change that to put in. Now if I click here the preview placeholders, you'll see what that will look like. So the description and the reference will look like um, WH we're posting for April 2015 and the line description monthly we're posting a support package for April 2015. So that's great, that's what we want it to look like. Now, this is the important part when setting up a repeating template. How often do you want this template to repeat? So in this case it is monthly, but the other option we have is, is weekly here. So you can have four weekly, you could have six monthly, annually you put in once every 12 months. Invoice date, so the last one was on the 30th of the month, so we want the next invoice to be on the 30th of April. In this case, I'm just going to put it to today's date so you can actually see what happens when it creates. This is just telling me that the invoice date has already occurred this today and it's letting me know that when I save this, it's actually going to generate an invoice and I'm okay with that in this case. Uh, I want it to be due in 14 days from the invoice date. The options we have is from the following month, after the date of invoice, after the end of the invoice month or of the current month. So it's quite versatile. If it's a, like a one year contract, let's say, you could actually put an end date in here so that it stops generating um, invoices from that date. In this case, I don't want to do that. I want it to be indefinite. The other thing here is, uh, again, we've got the attachment feature. And I'm going to attach in here the hosting agreement document so that they can always refer to and I can always refer to it between the two. Next invoice date comes up. We have the option of saving as a draft, saving it as an approved invoice, or approving it and actually sending it by email. In the case of recurring subscriptions, this is what we, we always do. So we click on approve for sending, and now we get the prompt to change our email template. On the date that the invoice generates, it will not only create an invoice in the system, but it will also email this template as it goes out. Now you can see here, uh, we've got it set to default to the repeating invoice template. And this is the repeating invoice template. If you don't know about email templates, see Please see our uh, Zero Ninja topic on that on that particular subject. Um, what I want to show you down here is that in this case, in our template, we've got view and pay the bill online, or the amount due will be debited from your nominated bank account on the due date. Or well, in this case, we have got them set up under direct debit, so that's what I want them to see in their email. They don't have to actually have to pay for it. 
but I would also like them to, to be able to view it if they want to. We'll just put that link back in here so that they can see that. I don't want to send it by the Zero Network. I don't want to include it as an attachment. I do want it to show a sent and I do want it to email me. Okay, so now my template is set up. Now I'm going to save that template and that's it. There is my, this one here. Uh, importantly, because it was uh, set up to start from today, it will be in my awaiting payments as a new invoice. Here it is here. All right, so here is uh, my automatically generated invoice sitting here. Now, just one thing I want you to note, it's currently saying it's not sent. A little, that's just a little quirk of the system at the moment. If you create a repeating uh, invoice for today's date, it actually won't send it but it will send all future iterances of this invoice. So in, in this one case only for today, we do have to go in and we do have to actually send it ourselves. But you'll see when I do that, it's the template that I had set up before. Get that one sent. You can also see here when we drill into one of these invoices that has been set up automatically for us, it tells us that it's an invoice that repeats monthly and allows you to go in and view the repeating uh, transaction, template transaction, just in case you did have something incorrect that you needed to change. And you can do that at this point here. So guys, it's, it's as simple as that. That's all there is to setting up repeating invoices in Zero. Set the invoice up once, get the parameters right, get it set up so it's approving and emailing your client directly, and then you never have to worry about it again. Old style desktop bookkeeping is a thing of the past. Online bookkeeping is fast becoming the only way to keep your business moving with the times. So call the bookkeepers and cloud application specialists with a head for business. Your business, not just for the figures. With streamlined and automated cloud-based administration systems at your fingertips, you will be able to enjoy more time doing what you really love. Call us now. Ava's Cloud Solutions. Call the bookkeepers with a head for business.